Hi, everybody. This is Kathy Curtis, Executive Director of Clean and Healthy New York. And I have here with me today, Senator Brian Kavanaugh, who is the Housing Committee Chair and a member of the Senate Environmental Conservation Committee as well. Um, we're commemorating the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Hard to believe that it's been 50 years since people first uh, around the world gathered to fight for and celebrate a healthy environment. And it's now more than ever, people are turning to the environment for a source of health and calm. Uh, Senator, what does um, Earth Day mean to you? Well, thank you, Kathy. It's great to be here. And you, of course, are also a great champion of the environment. So it's great to talk to you today. Thank you know, a lot of people say Earth, every day should be Earth Day and we should be doing the work we need to protect our environment and protect our planet constantly. Uh, but I think there is a great value in picking a day and taking stock in where we are and reminding each other that we have a lot of work to do and that we have to do it together uh, if we're gonna accomplish what we need to accomplish. Uh, and of course, uh, in the middle of this COVID crisis, uh, I think it takes on uh, a particular meaning, you know, as we're facing uh, tremendous uh, challenges and really tremendous uh, tragedy, particularly here in New York, uh, we're also seeing people come together and recognize that any great challenge requires uh, everybody work together. It's bringing up the best in a lot of people. And of course, like uh, some of our environmental challenges, COVID is a global challenge and it needs uh, global cooperation. So I think uh, it's, a, it's a very good day to remind ourselves of that and to remind ourselves that beyond this particular crisis, uh, the environmental crisis also is of huge consequence to all of us. Totally agree. Uh, you are, of course, an environmental champion. What, uh, of what are you most proud? What com accomplishment have you achieved that, uh, of, what you, of which you are the most proud? Um, if I could say a couple, I mean, we, uh, you know, we've had a big change in New York uh, in the past year as we had a change in the leadership of our legislature. And mm -hmm. I think many things that we had worked very hard for a long time were able to move forward on. Uh, the biggest, I think, is the, the Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act which really, I think, uh, sets New York on a great path. Uh, we obviously have a lot of work to do to make sure that is implemented. Uh, but I, you know, and I work with the National Caucus of Environmental Legislators, as I think you know. And uh, so I get to see that there's a lot of great work going on at the state level, in particular in the United States. Uh, you know, we, we are looking for our federal government to do more always, but states really have taken the lead. And I think New York uh, in particular has taken a great step forward through all of the advocacy and, and my colleagues uh, in both houses of the legislature and the governor signing that into law last year. Mm -hmm. um, I would also say on, on New York was, I think, a leader on uh, fracking, on really restricting uh, fracking. Uh, we took steps uh, this year to make that permanent, the ban. Uh, it had previously been kind of an administrative thing. Uh, but of all the states that New York is, is a, a good example of a state with a big uh, drilling presence that took that step early and very forcefully to say that is not uh, a useful thing for to be developing. And I was very involved in that. Um, and this year we've also, as I said, catching up on a lot of old work. Uh, Liz Kruger, uh, when she was a state senator and I was at Assembly Center many years ago, began trying to ban styrofoam, polystyrene foam. And uh, I'm happy to say that also was enacted uh, last month. Uh, so, you know, it's been a, been a good stretch uh, in New York for the environment. Of course, we still have tremendous uh, challenges ahead, but, um, you know, I look forward to, uh, I would say particularly with respect to, um, uh, I think we have a lot more work to do on uh, product stewardship, on making sure that uh, products that are produced, uh, we've done some work on batteries uh, and paint in recent years, but there are so many products where we would be better off if the producer of that product took responsibility for taking them back and, and making sure that they're handled responsibly at the end of their life cycle. I agree. And thank you for that. I look forward to working with you on some of those initiatives going forward. As do I. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much.